Bonjour, Kinemagi and Nene Ireland Indigenicus, and welcome to our new episode of My Math. Today's lesson, <laughs> order whole numbers and decimals. This is chapter one, lesson eight. The essential question in chapter one remains, how does the position of a digit in a number relate to its value? We're gonna go right to the quick check today. And I want you to take a moment and do the less than, greater than or equal to, to make a true sentence. Either write it down somewhere or make a mental note of it. Pause your video when I tell you to, and then come back and we'll see how you did. You may pause your video now. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. We have one and 34 thousandths is greater than one and three thousandths. And we notice we had a one, we had a zero, but once we get here, three is greater than zero. And that's why it's greater. On this one, we have another where they are next to zero. And if you put a zero here, because you're allowed to do that in a decimal, don't do this if it's a whole number with no decimal point, you'd get 900 and 80 thousandths is equal to 98 to, uh, hundredths. Over here, 23.4 and 234. There's no decimal here, so this is in the hundreds. This one's really only in the tens. So 23.4 is less than 234. Over here, zero is the same. The next zero is the same. Five is less than six, so it's going to be less than. All right, investigate the math in this episode. Ask the question. Phone's always ring in a classroom, what can I say? So we're explaining how you would order a set of decimals greater than one. Well, my first thing I would do, if I were you, is look at how many decimals are on the right and then look at how many digits are on the left of the decimal point. If you have three digits to the left in one number and two in the other, you know that the one with three digits is larger. Just like if I compared 27 and two. Doesn't matter they're both twos at the beginning. 27 has two digits, goes to the tens place. Um, you could write them all up and down. Um, you could line them up using a decimal point, which is probably, another really good idea. Um, you could even use things outside the box, such as a number line, although probably not the most efficient way. So let's continue on on this lesson to the next slide. We have our first example. Explain how you would order the numbers below from least to greatest. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my annotate tool here and do the text box. And let's line the numbers up by their decimal point. 537, 573, 545.08. Now I have a better visual of what's there. I notice first that there are all fives, so I need to go to the next spot. And now I have a three, a seven, and a four. Well, I know from the directions that I need the least, so I'm gonna find the one first with the smallest number, 537.18, because that's a three in the tens place. Um, I recommend not using a comma to differentiate between the numbers because of the fact that if we're in 1,000 or 1 million, you're gonna have extra commas and it is confusing to both the teacher and the student. Could use a semicolon or a big space. We've eliminated the first one. We are now down to the four versus seven. Well, four is less than seven. And so we'll go to 545.08, semicolon. And there's only one number left, so you know it's that one. 573 and 2500s. And now I have them in order from least to greatest. Let's move on to the next slide. Just a reminder, anytime that you want to double check something or look at it a little longer, you're welcome to hit pause, examine the numbers, and then unpause the video when you are ready to move on. 
So let's go to the next slide here. We got some heights here. Three of Camille's classmates' heights are given below. Connor, 142.34 centimeters. Lily, 154.84 centimeters. And Alex, 134.42 centimeters. Camille thinks that Lily is the tallest and Connor is the shortest. Is she correct? If not, who is tallest and shortest and why? So let's first look. Is Lily the tallest? One fifth, we all start at once. Five is greater than three, five is greater than four. Lily is the tallest. But is Connor the shortest? Four is greater than three, so Connor is taller than Alex. So Alex is the shortest. So I would use my annotate tool to find a text. I would say no. Lily is tallest, but Alex is shorter than Connor. Alex, 134.42 centimeters tall, and Connor, 142.34 centimeters tall. Always a good idea, by the way, to include the centimeters label. That's abbreviated with the CM. And you'll want to remember that going forward. So there's my why. I've given the answer. No, they're not correct. And I've explained why, why they're not correct and the correct answer as well. So let's hit the clear button. So we can go to the next slide. You saw the answers there. All right, so now you should be on page 55. This lesson eight, order whole numbers and decimals. If you don't have lesson eight out, please pause the video and grab it. If not, you should be on page 55 and ready for me. You will notice that these slides again are not exactly the same as the book because two of these slides equal one page. They want you to be able to see it. So I will be doing the first part one way on this slide and then I'll actually have to go to the next slide to complete the demonstration here. So on example basic, the table shows the cost to build three National Football League stadiums. Order the cost of the stadiums from greatest to least. One way is to use place value. And that's what you saw me do in my demonstration. They've lined everything up where the decimals are all lined up. That's how you do this. It's not based on whatever number's first or whatever number's last. Line them up using the decimal points. And we see that each of these numbers have three digits to the left of the decimal point. So now we can go to step two, compare the digits in the greatest place. Let's get my annotate tool out in text. What is greater than three? Well, four is. Which automatically tells me that the stadium that is in the 400 millions will be the biggest. Then we go to the next place, which would be five is less than six. So this one, 364 is next. Six is greater than five. Already we now know that Ford Field was the most expensive of them, followed by Invesco Field, the home of the Denver Broncos and then Quest Field in Seattle, the home of the Seahawks. I now have greatest to least. Although realistically, I will wanna write the numbers more than the names because it's asking about the cost. So I'm gonna clear all the drawings, close that and move on to the next slide, which is another way. You can see the answers there. I can use the number line. Get my annotate tool out here again. Place dots on the number line to represent the approximate locations of the decimals. That means that you might be a little off on some of the spots, but if you're in the general area, we understand. Fort Field, the home of your Detroit Lions, the real team in this state, no Vikings or Packers, sorry friends. We have that. Now the next one is in Vesco Field at 364 million. So we'll say about there. 
And then Questfield right there on the 350 mark. So the cost, so now you can, oops, see the cost here, the, you can visualize it. Let's clear it and move on. So the total cost in millions from greatest to least. Here. In millions, four hundred thirty point zero. Next one, three sixty four point two million. A little chump change if you have in your pocket when you go to get coffee. Three hundred fifty point zero million dollars. So if you look, they are going in fact from greatest to least. If I ask for least to greatest, then I would just would have started out at 350 and gone up to 430. All right, let's move on to the next slide. You see the answer key there. Example niche. It's really a good idea to always look at the helpful hints. They may be something you already know, but it also might be a reminder or give you information that you may have missed or forgotten over time. And the helpful hint means to annex a zero, means to add a zero at the end of a number. Remember, you can only do that um, after the decimal or before the, hun before the hundreds and tens in this case. Um, you can't just throw them randomly where it changes the value of the number. So four trees in a state forest at heights of 22.65, 23.8, and 23.25 feet. Order them from least to greatest. So I've lined them up. You can see that they annexed a zero here to make it 23.80. They annexed two zeros, so it'd be 22.00. And they kept the decimals completely lined up. So the least number, is, well, the twos are all the same, two, three. So that's gonna eliminate my threes here. So I have 22.6, 22.0. Zero is less than six, so 22 is the smallest. Now the greatest is going to be similar. It's between the 23s. That's the same, the three is the same. Eight is greater than two. So 23.8 is the largest. We could say 23.80. But now we can start with the greatest from least to greatest. We know that 22.0 is going to be the biggest. Twenty-two. Then the next one, 22.65, 23.25. Three point eight. Almost got it lined up in there. So we're going from least to greatest. Make sure you're lining up the decimal points. That's the biggest piece of advice I can give to you. Also, the largest source of accidents and mistakes. So you see the answers there. Let's practice one here. Least to greatest, weights of a dog in kilograms. If you're going to not put them up and down because you're like, well, there's two digits, goes to the hundreds, goes to the hundreds, goes to the hundreds, go to the hundreds, and they already have a zero on next there, you might want to consider crossing them out. Um, if you don't, there is a fair chance you might miss a number somewhere along the line here. So let's see here, we have a five, a six, a five and a six from least grace. So it's gonna be either the 56 or 59, six is less than nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 56.7 comma, 59.0 comma, and now we're into the sixes, 64 and 64. Three is less than five, so that means 64.3 is next, followed at the end by 
with four numbers, it was still doable to do it in my head. But by all means, if you're doing this on paper, go ahead and cross them out. All right, let's do one more. Rainfall in inches here. Start out, they're all zeros. They got a seven, a zero, a six, and a two. Well, zero is definitely the smallest of those. So I picked that one, 0 0.09. Now I'm down to three numbers. I get 0 0.24. Down to two numbers, 0 0.63. And that leaves, last but not least, 0 0.76. All right, we're now to the point where you're gonna be able to practice them on your own. So I'm gonna clear the drawings. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, do numbers three and four, then come back. Actually, we're gonna move past that. We've done those similar stick out there. Talk math, discuss different steps that make ordering numbers easier. I mean, you might have a conversation with a sibling, preferably. So kind of share with them what you've learned, or maybe they'll share with you what you learned. But if I was talking about it, I would definitely want to consider lining up the decimal points. All right, so five, six, and seven, I want you to practice these three. Pause the video, and then when you're done, come back and check your answers. Go ahead and pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. Cost of cell phones, 98, 105, 114, good. 99, 101, 106, 110, good. 4.2, 4.3, 7.7, good. So if your answers meet these, then you've done well, and let's move on to the next two. Again, from least to greatest, then put, pause the video, put them in order, come back when you're done. You may pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. 78, 46, 419, 527. Those ones are probably a little bit easier. They're all at the first digit. Now we get 3.4, 3.7, 4.2, 4.9. 4.9. See, 4 is less than 7, so 4 went first. 2 is less than 9, 2 went first. Oops, too far, sorry. Now let's do 10, 11, and 12, greatest to least. Pause the video when you're ready. Go ahead, try these three problems and come back to me when you're done. You may pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. Start getting these closer numbers. It does take a little more time, but we had four is greater than three, which is greater than one, which is greater than zero. Going for grace to least. Start with our nines, 9.1 1 is greater than zero, so those two are first. Then we have nine is greater than, nine five is greater than nine one, that's net, the third one, and then a seven at the end. An 86, 78, 67, 43, 34. Hopefully things are going well for you. If you get stuck on any, please do check with me during live stream or office hours or via email. All right, so greatest to least, these last two. Go ahead, pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see the greatest to least. See, we went from 11 to 10.2 to 10 to 9.8, 9.6. Over here, 27, 26.2, 26, 26 25.8, and 25.4. Ones get a little bit tougher as you go. Let's look at another one, problem solving. List the average baby body lengths in centimeters from least to greatest. So I want the length of baby body, which is this column here, and I wanted the centimeters. So I don't need to write the word copperhead or Western cotton mouth. I just need the numbers. So far, let's go from least to greatest. Go ahead and pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. 15.2 up to 21.5, 27 to 29. And then you're using the names, make that same for the adults. You can see right there. Number 17, the average length of an adult Eastern 
Coach Whip snake is 152.4 centimeters. Write a sentence comparing its length to the length of other snakes. Go ahead and try one, and then I'll show you some possible answers. Give me a pause the video now. Welcome back. An eastern coach whip is longer than all of the other snakes in the table. So there you go. Or if you had chosen to write something like an eastern, sorry, eastern coach whip is longer than queen snake or picked one of the specifics, you would have been all right there. All right, let's write an ordered list of five numbers whose values are between 50.98 and 51.6. Tell whether your list is from least to greatest or greatest to least. Go ahead and try it and then I will model a possible answer. Pause the video now. Welcome back. 50.99, which is greater than 50.98. 51, 51.05, 51.1, 51.4. And as you were doing this, you went from least to greatest. You went 51.59 down to 51.01. .01. You would have been going the opposite way. All right, so your next step is to work on the homework. You may choose to do the paper page that's in your weekly packet, or you may choose to do the the Google form listed within the uh, Google Classroom for today's assignment. If you have any questions, please email me at mireland at psychchipschool.net. Mama P.